there's there i think there is a darkness to it uh i think we try to be good but the reality is if we honestly sit there and we're being a hundred percent honest we're only behaving quote-unquote good because we don't want to be punished by the law or be rejected by society I think there are very few individuals who genuinely want to be good for the sake of being good because I think video games prove this I'm thinking of Escape from Tarkov <laughs> okay let me use this as an example in Escape from Tarkov there is no reason in terms of game mechanics to actually kill other people you know if if everyone cooperated together and they're they are like oh if they run into a stranger because you have you can check now there's proximity voice chat so you can talk to people and like hey hey stranger and everyone can like work together to loot the things in the map and then leave so like we can have like a like a unspoken arrangement where we just share everything right i'm not i'm not talking like communism just like there's enough loot in the map for everybody and we can all share everything no one has to die no one has to lose anything and we can all get out with some gear and loot and you can build up your hideout super fast right and the reason why we don't do this is we kill others and steal what they have because we can't there is no punishment in the game there's no mechanical punishment for that other than you you having the risk of dying yourself right but people are willing to take their risk so they can kill someone else and take their stuff right they would do that in real life and they'll be like no i wouldn't kill anyone and steal something in real life well it's messed up like are you sure are you sure like you're just capping at this point because they don't want to look like they're a bad person but they totally would and i think the world has proven that because you see so much violence and and most of it like all of these riots you know they oh man you know like they go into walmart and steal everything right and under the guise of rioting but like they kill they steal they murder whenever they can get away with it there are very few people who are like i don't want to hurt you i don't want to i don't want to take anything from you because that i value your life as a human being because i am a fellow human being too much sense yeah it, it's in video games prove this we we are we react so quickly with violence in video games when we don't need to for a lot of them we derive joy from destroying someone else <laughs> that said though i think i think though um it comes down to human empathy we there's something in the water something in our education system where we don't actually teach humans to have empathy for other people and i think that's mainly due to a complete lack of suffering in 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 our lives back then when you had to survive you had to work really hard on a farm you had to grow your own vegetables you had to make your own stuff life was difficult but it was simple but it was a struggle right so when you struggle just to live and you see other people struggling around you you know that they're going through the same thing you know life is hard and life is tough right but when you see this these rich kids you know they don't have a worry or care in their lives everything has been handed to them on a silver platter and they've been told that they're special they're above everyone else right they're above the law man there's a complete lack of empathy for the average human <laughs> if they don't know what it means to survive it's struggle it's pain right that's what it means when you go through that yourself then you're like man you have way more respect and empathy for everyone around you even though they might be you know unpleasant as a human being you realize that man i understand living is hard so i don't want to make life more harder for you because i understand what that feels like and when you lack that you see what you, what you see nowadays but yeah um w when you lack human empathy it's it's a dark it's a dark world mark my even if they do suffer some people will still kill you and steal your stuff if they could <laughs> doesn't guarantee a generation of, of um, empathy it might not some people are just they don't have a heart it doesn't exist but yeah 
So I, I think as human beings, we are inclined towards towards evil, uh, for a better lack of a word. I think we 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 do. We are born with a general desire to do good, but we end up doing more harm than than good, and that's why we have laws and punishments in society today. It's interesting. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's my my thought process from observing people playing video games. <laughs> you know, because I'm gonna be honest. Like when I play video games, I generally don't end up killing everyone. I end up stealing everything, though. I am totally a kleptomaniac. I will steal everything. <laughs> I will go out of my way not to kill people. Because I, I tend to, as I've grown older, I tend to be be more of a pacifist. But boy, I will steal everything in your house and then throw it into my house. I'm thinking of playing Skyrim, right? <laughs> I haven't played Skyrim, I play Morrowind. But like, I will steal everything in the world and, and just hoard it. I don't know why I have that desire, but like, I want to steal everything. I want to have everything. <laughs> I have that greed deep down inside of me. So when I when I play games, that part of me comes out. Why? Because it's not punished. You know, it's not punished at all. I have I have this greed inside of me, for I don't know what it is. It took a twenty minute nap. Nice, nice. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm chatting too much. I'm not doing a service to this game by covering it well, but you know, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I was like, what what game is that? I was playing that invokes this idea. Yeah, Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim shows it. Everyone's a kleptomaniac. Like you don't think about, oh, this person might need like this, this thing that I'm taking from them. But you kind of rationalize it by saying, oh, they're not real, or they don't really need this. And that's how we do it in the real world, where we're like, oh, it, they're not really a, a human being. We make up an excuse to kind of denigrate them or put them below what a what a human is, or like, oh, we, we, they don't really need that. It's okay. Like people skimming funds you know like these these corrupt government officials there's there's always some way to you know logically explain everything away you know logically i'm trying to i can't think of the words that i want to say right now but yeah you, you know what i'm trying to say okay i'm gonna wait for more dudes to poop out before i send them out i'm kind of scared because like i don't I'm not really good at this game. This this game is kind of complicated, so I'm gonna. 